day, I was walking through Chinatown, and I found something new, and I got really excited. This. But, I did a little research, and I've had this before. I've already done a review on this, but it was cut up. It was a very quick review that I did um, back when I was in Malaysia about the egg fruit. That's what this guy is. I thought it'd be interesting to take another look at it, uh, just to see what it actually looks like on the outside, not just uh, cut up pieces of fruit, and also give um, maybe a little bit more information about it. So egg fruit has some other names as well. It's known as the uh, canistel, which is a common name for it, and the yellow sapote. Here in America, it's, it can be called any three of those. Uh, yellow sapote, because this is actually another sapote. I've already talked about um, meme sapote, sapadilla, uh, abu is a is a type of um, is related to this. I did white sapote, uh, lots of different sapote. So now we're talking about yellow sapote, and it's called egg fruit um, because the the texture and even like the flavor and the um, I guess like grittiness of it is uh, similar to egg yolk. Uh, when I bought this in Chinatown, it was actually sold to me as a Vietnamese avocado. Uh, that's what the guy told me <laughs> it was, and um, I guess that kind of makes sense because this is um, similar in some ways to an avocado. It's not as um, fatty tasting, it's, it's a lot drier. It's very like, um, very mild, not citrusy, very like mellow kind of flavor like um, avocados have. So I've learned that you can use it as an avocado substitute. Also, they are resistant to insects. They, when they fall from the tree, you know, insects, they don't really want them. And that's supposed to be because there's like some astringency, um, astringent qualities to this fruit. When I got this, it was hard as a rock. Um, but now this side looks okay. But if you look down the other side, it's getting a little bruised. And that's only after uh, three days on the shelf. So these, these ripen off the tree fairly rapidly. Um, I heard you can put these in the fridge and they last like another few days, or you can freeze them. I'm gonna cut this guy open and we'll see what it tastes like. Okay, so let's cut into this. This is quite soft. There. So that's what this looks like. See, there's some uh, very dark seeds in there. This half has uh, two in it. Looks like there might be another seed in there. So it looks like three large black seeds. Pull one of these out. Yeah, similar to um, other sapotes that I've seen, but uh, no hooks on it. It's not. Um, it's very just a like, smooth little little oval. Uh, supposedly, these seeds actually can be prepared to treat ulcers, which is kind of interesting. So, the texture, like uh, other sapotes before, is very soft. It's uh, very kind of like pudding-like, similar to like a meme sapote. Wow. It's, um, it's actually a little different um, than how I remember. I think because this is riper. I let this get like a little overripe, I think. And the main difference I'm detecting is it's, it's sweeter. It's not as dry as I remember it being. I remember it being really dry, just like it, it felt like, like hard cooked egg yolks. This is a little creamier. I think the first time I talked about this, I talked about it tasting like sweet potato. That's still true, but it's sweeter. It's a lot sweeter uh, than how I remember. So, it's like a very sweet, sweet potato. Or, if we took a sweet potato and put more sugar on it, but it's got more of a, uh, it's got a fruitier taste than a potato does. Yeah, the texture is really interesting. It's just like, you're eating mush. It, it's got like the texture of eating It's like, like pudding, or, yeah, or like pie, like if you're eating like, uh, like pumpkin, the texture of like pumpkin pie. 
I actually have a little bit of like the flavor of pumpkin pie as well, now that I think of it. Kind of like a pumpkin-y, uh, potato-y type of flavor. Very, like, s like, more of like a savory fruit kind of flavor. I really like it. It's very good. You know, I think, um, out of all the sapotes I've had, let's see, I've had May May sapote, I've had the sapodilla, I've had the abu, I've had the, um, uh, the white sapote, and I have, I've had this one. It's like five sapotes. And I have to say, probably the, my favorite out of them, mmm, it's probably either this one or the white sapote. I think those are probably my favorite. The Meimei Sapote and the Sapodilla are kind of similar tasting, but uh, much earthier tasting. This one is um, it's, it's very unique on its own. It's um, very tasty, though. It's very good. If you ever have the chance to try this, this is uh, worth a try, but I've very rarely seen it. I've only um, had it once in Malaysia, and now I found it in Chinatown in New York City. But I've never seen it before here. It's kind of a rarity to find it in New York. Hey, so what I'm going to do right now is a little different. I am going to attempt to make vegan eggnog. Now, I'm not vegan, and I don't like eggnog, so this should be interesting. But uh, I have an egg fruit here, and according to, um, I believe it's Indian Vegan uh, blog, the Indian Vegan blog. I'll, I'll put the address on there. Um, there is a way to make uh, an eggnog substitute using egg fruit, because eggnog usually has actual eggs in it. That's why it's called eggnog. It's um, it's normally egg yolks and uh, sugar, milk, and bourbon. Uh, I'm not going to be using eggs. I'm not going to be using bourbon. I'm not going to be using milk. So this is going to be... Um, uh, my guess is it's not going to actually taste like eggnog, which is why I'm making it, because if it did taste like eggnog, I probably want, wouldn't want to drink it. But uh, let's see what happens. <clears throat> so, to make this, I'm going to use one egg fruit, soy milk. I'm using black soy milk, because that's what I have. Uh, this also has quite a bit of sugar in it already, so I'm not going to be using any sugar. Uh, I've got some nutmeg here. This is real nutmeg I picked up actually in um, Penang in Malaysia, so that should be good. And I have some cinnamon. Now, some eggnog has cinnamon, some doesn't, so i um, probably just going to put a little bit in to see if it tastes any good. So let's see, uh, see how this goes. Okay, first things first, I'm going to cut open the egg fruit. Now this has been sitting around for a while. It got to like maximum ripeness and then I put it in the fridge for um, for about two days. So it is as soft as soft can be. <sighs> okay. okay, so I'm going to put this in, what does this look like, maybe like about um, like a cup or so of fruit, maybe like a cup and a half. Maybe like equal amounts of soy milk. So I'm gonna put about a cup in here. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of this nutmeg here and I'm going to grind that in with a microplane right on top. This, I guess. Maybe like a fourth teaspoon. I'm going to use maybe like a third of the seed. Start there, maybe do a little bit more after that. And I'm just going to put a little dash of cinnamon in. At first, and maybe I'll add more. Okay, let's blend it up.
This looks like it makes about uh, two servings, about two two glasses of um, eggnog with that amount of, of fruit and soy milk. So to make this eggnog, I put in one egg fruit. I took out the seeds, the uh, the skin, the stem, all that stuff, and just put the flesh in. Uh, I put in about one and one fourth cups of soy milk. I used black soy milk that had a um, had sugar in it. If you're using unsweetened, I would say put in maybe like a a fourth cup of sugar, maybe more if you like it sweet. Uh, I put in about a quarter teaspoon of salt quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, about like a, I'd say about a half teaspoon of cinnamon, and uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, that's all I put in there. And it came up with about uh, two glasses of, of the stuff. So let me see what it tastes like. It's good. It's very good. Um, this fruit makes really good smoothies because it's very creamy. So if you're a vegan, this is actually a pretty valuable thing to have. It does have a um, an egg taste to it. So as like a substitute for um, things that you want to have like an actual like egg yolk taste to it, uh, it's pretty good. It would be good for like puddings and um, and cakes and things like that. And adding in the cinnamon and nutmeg makes it really tasty. Um, but does it taste like eggnog? Um, a little bit. I, I think lacking bourbon, it does not taste like authentic eggnog. But what's stopping you from putting bourbon in? It's my question. So if you like eggnog taste and you want to make uh, fake eggnog or vegan eggnog, this would actually do really well. Um, I'd say just like follow an eggnog recipe. But, uh, you know, with using nutmeg and cinnamon and bourbon and sugar and milk, but instead of using egg yolks and egg whites like a lot of them have, just throw in uh, an egg fruit. I think that would actually do pretty well. Whatever the, the batch is, I would put in, I just put in one egg fruit for, you know, for, uh, it would probably be like the equivalent of like four eggs with how much, um, how much fruit's there, but the flavor is a little milder, so you have to play with it. But, um, yeah, I, I'd say this is actually a pretty, uh, pretty good ingredient if you wanted to make vegan eggnog. So, yeah, try it out. Um, maybe it's not a perfect, <laughs> perfect review for this, because I'm not making it with bourbon, but if you got bourbon, this would be a, uh, would be a pretty close substitute for eggnog. Well, good luck.